I can't get it. These veterans are busy as a bee, learning beekeeping as part of a recreation therapy program at New Hampshire's Veterans Affairs Center. It's fun. I love doing it, you know. I used to be afraid of bees. Since the program started six months ago, these veterans have learned about the queens and drones, and of course, about honey. There's a hornet over here. Should I knock him out? I love coming here. It's just, it's just so exciting. Vince Littolo spent nearly 40 years in the military, which included two tours in Iraq. One day, a roadside bomb blew up next to his convoy. I had one of them that actually blew up in my face that I really didn't like. It really upset me a lot. And I don't really want to get into it too, too much because it hurts me too hard. He finds the humming bees to be soothing, especially since he can't tolerate loud noises due to post-traumatic stress disorder or PTSD, a mental condition triggered by a terrifying event. I never knew I even had it until my mom told me after two years, you've got some serious problems. says, no, I don't. Everybody else has got the problem, not me. Counseling and his service dog help relieve some of the anxiety and stress. But much to his surprise, working with the bees has been a lifesaver. It's crazy how much it helps you and your family life, and it's helped me the most for the longest period of time. Beekeeping is also helping veteran Wendy Zimmerman deal with her trauma. 25 years ago, a military colleague sexually assaulted her. It still affects me to this day. Um, it affected my home life, my, my parenting, and it can be debilitating. Beekeeping keeps her engaged in the present. I enjoy the teamwork. I enjoy being able to work with other people and go past some of my stumbling blocks that I have within my anxiety and not let the outside buzz of the world get in there. You can't really focus on much else except the hives when you're in there because you're really just really in with about 70,000 bees. Littolo says beekeeping is also giving him more confidence. I start looking forward to, oh boy, I get to see the bees again. So I'm constantly thinking about the bees. Deborah Block, VOA News, Manchester, New Hampshire. I need to score the Will Kirsten Jerry grows Mugoka at her farm in Embu County in central Kenya. She used to farm maize, but Mugoka now puts food on her table. I used 5,000 Kenya shillings to plow. I bought fertilizer worth 3,000 Kenya shillings and two bags of maize, one of which cost 700 Kenya shillings. Everything cost me more than 10,000 Kenya shillings, but I did not harvest anything. We got little rain, and that happened for about two seasons. With Kista cleared her maize and planted mogoka, she now makes an average of 20,000 Kenya shillings, or about 190 U.S. dollars a week. Mogoka is a variety of cut that is green and bushy. It is a stimulant that produces a mild high when chewed. The crop is fast growing and does well in the semi-arid lowlands of Embu County, making it less vulnerable to erratic weather conditions. Farmers with a lot of land used to grow mogoka, but now small-scale farmers are cashing in on the trade. Oh, they are doing that because it is providing some employment, uh, direct employment to the people that are in Bera region. And uh, also, apart from uh, employment, it is giving each easy cash. Uh, people can get the money and they, uh, instantly uh, when they sell their produce. Embus County government says there are now 65,000 farmers growing the crop in the region, making Mogoka one of the highest income earners for the region, apart from coffee and tea. But the county government is urging farmers to create a balance between growing the stimulant and food crops. We are giving some free supplies of seed uh, so that uh, we can encourage those um, uh, farmers to also plant some seed uh, some food crops that uh, will uh, enhance food security and nutrition. We are also um, encouraging them to take the advantage of uh, the fertilizer subsidies that we are giving them.
Small-scale Mogoka farmers mainly sell the stimulant in local markets, but the crop is also transported to various parts of the country and is exported to Somalia. Farmers in the lowlands of Embu say despite efforts to boost food crops, the financial benefits of Mogoka outweigh growing food, at least for now. Rael Umbor, for VOA News, Embu, Kenya.